Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D Lord and welcome to the season opener of season number one of our Los Angeles Lakers NBA Live 16 Dynasty Mode series. So in the opening game, we're gonna be taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves, who we used last year, but this time they have Carl Anthony Towns and we have D'Angelo Russell. So it is the battle of the rookies. We're gonna get this thing started off quickly. As you see, Roy Hibbert getting the first points of the season. And then the next possession, we're gonna run a pick and roll. And that is Roy Hibbert again getting the nice bounce to go down. So we're up four to two at this point. Carl Anthony Towns gets his first touch and he is gonna get his first basket in the NBA. So the score is tied up at four apiece. But later on, we're gonna push it. This is D'Angelo Russell who's gonna find Kobe Bryant who's still gonna show that he has some spring left in those old legs. We're up six to four now. Carl Anthony Towns is gonna get the floater to go down. This game is tied up at eight apiece but Roy Hibbert is gonna spin and dunk over Anthony Towns. We're up by two, but now we're down 14 to 10. This is Julius Randle who's able to get the nice powerful dunk. This game is tied up at 16 apiece, but then Andrew Wiggins is going to knock down the three to give the Timberwolves a lead. Now they're up 23 to 16. Look at this move by D'Angelo Russell as he gets his first basket in the NBA. But here is Kevin Garnett. He is going to pull up at the elbow and he's going to knock down that jumper. They're up 29 to 20 now, and this is going to be Kevin Martin who's going to miss the jump shot, but this is Carl Anthony Towns who's going to clean up the glass. Now up by 11. This is Richard Jefferson showing that he can still get up there as well as he finishes with the baseline dunk. But here is Andrew Wiggins hop stepping into the lane and he is going to get that layup to go down. And then later on, Carl Anthony Towns is showing that he can finish with a nice finesse layup. Now the score is 44 to 35 and Andrew Wiggins is going to make it double digits and he gets that shot to go down. And then on the fast break, he's going to finish it with a two-handed slam. So at halftime, the Minnesota Timberwolves are going to be leading the Lakers 58 to 43. And then in the second half, we're going to start things off with Andrew Wiggins sizing up Brandon Bass. And he is going to knock down the three-point jumper. So they're up by 18 points at this point. But here is Kobe Bryant getting into the lane and finishing with the layup. But then later on, Kobe again with a nice finish. He is still fighting. And then this is Roy Hibbert. He's going to spin and he is going to finish it with a dunk as well. Now D'Angelo Russell pulling up from the free throw line. He is not going to be able to connect. But this is Roy Hibbert cleaning up off the glass. We are now down 74 to 58, but Kobe Bryant is still going, knocking down the mid-range jumper, and that is an 11 to 2 run for the Lakers. But it will stop right here as Nikolai Pekovic gets that shot to go down. Then later on, Zach Levine is going to take off for the one-handed finish, and then D'Angelo Russell from the corner he's going to miss as he was struggling pretty much all night. And this is going to be Pekovic on the other end with the dunk, and the Timberwolves will go on their own. 8 nothing run but here we are in the fourth quarter Kobe Bryant is still not giving up hope as he can get that lift to go down and then Roy Hibbert backing down Carl Anthony Towns he gets that shot to go we're going to give it to him again as he spins past Towns and he is going to finish it with a dunk so the score is 101 to 83 but Kobe Bryant is going to drive into the lane and finish it with a nice slam now later on he's going to pull up knock down the mid range and just like that is 104 to 90 and then Nick Young is going to make it a 11 point ball game but the Timberwolves are going to have a little too much as Andrew Wiggins comes in and finishes it with the dunk and then Kobe Bryant is going to shoot this one straight off of the backboard and then we're unable to clean it up as well and that will pretty much sum up the game for us. The Timberwolves will take this one by six 110 to 104. The leading scorer for the Minnesota Timberwolves, Carl Anthony Town, 27 points off a of 13 for 15 shooting. Kobe Bryant had a great performance, 36 points. He did shoot a little too much, 31 shots, but we take the loss regardless. But that is it for this episode. Please go ahead, leave a comment. Also, go ahead, leave this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D Lord. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.